welcome to Belly Flop, where you either make a splash, an ass out of yourself, or both. I am Alex. And I'm CW. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Belly Flop. What's up, guys? And girls. Hope everyone's having a great weekend, taking it nice and easy. It's uh, monsoon season this weekend in West Virginia, so it's... Pouring outside, so we're just inside uh, recording, having a couple adult beverages on a rainy Sunday afternoon. Yeah, it's been raining pretty hard lately. Seems to be the uh, theme for the weekend. Yes, unfortunately. I'm glad I got my pool closed yesterday. That was a good fun process. Yeah, it's always an effort. So I got a couple clarifications and um, comments from the past two episodes. So in episode two, we were discussing uh, cartoons that we liked growing up, and we could not think of the name of mine. You came up with Dinobots, Dinobot. which the name of the actual cartoon, which it's not really, I'll call it an animated show, uh, was Beast Wars, and Dinobot was one of the characters, apparently, or I don't know, you said it was a subset of Autobots, I don't know, whatever that is, but my favorite character in that show was the gorilla, which was Optimus Primal, so... We figured it out. So there's a point of clarification. And then <laughs> then we go to episode three, and I do not force my children to clean the house before the housekeeper comes. We just make them clean up their toys, and that's a bad. So you make them just move their crap out of the way. Yes, so the guy can actually clean the house. Yeah. And then as I was listening back, that came off the wrong way. And then I also mentioned an article we were talking about, I think, Lab Grown Meat. And I mentioned that the article was in National Geographic, but it was actually in Popular Mechanics. So if you're a nerd and you get Popular Mechanics, you can find it there. Give someone some that gives like maybe two people some nice uh, nice reading to catch up on. Yeah, if anybody actually tried to look it up. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, lab grown meat, let's get right into the major story of the week. Taco Bell is changing. Their menu. Again. It's like, what else can 2020 take away from us? Yeah, like just a couple weeks ago, they took off basically the uh, cheesy fiesta. Basically, anything to do with potatoes that they carried. Which, when you think of Taco Bell, most people probably don't think of potatoes. Except the cheesy fiesta potatoes were awesome. True statement. And they also had the loaded potato grillers, which were awesome. So those kind of went away, I think, in August. Right? And then they just announced that... They're taking away the Mexican pizza. Apparently, that was a major ordeal, according to Facebook. It is. Like, so many people that are from, like, we went to college with are super upset that their late night, late night food of choice is being taken off the menu. Yeah, the Mexican pizza was like the staple of, McD- of <laughs> McDonald's, Taco Bell. I mean, it's one of, the, it's got to be one of their top combos. When I read on their website, like that was the only thing they actually had an explanation on getting rid of, and all it talked about was how it was environmentally conscious because the packaging for the Mexican pizza is going to save like 7 billion pounds of paper and cardboard. Which, you know what? Just put it in a different pay package. Yes, I mean, you don't need to get rid of an entire menu item. Change your packaging. You're a multi-billion dollar company. Well, and they're replacing it with what they called a classic number eight combo, which was, they said, they said classic, but then they said it was a Dorito, three Doritos Locos Tacos, which if anybody's eaten the Doritos Locos Tacos and doesn't think they taste like stale Doritos, I don't understand. They're disgusting. I don't know if you've had them. I have not. I had them when they first came out. It And I, it's funny, it just hop, popped up in Time, uh, Time Hop, that app or whatever it is. Recently, it must have been recently in the the time of year that I try them. And it says these things taste like stale Doritos. Well, I mean, it is football season. It's tailgate season. I'm sure you, uh, in previous years, have had some late night Taco Taco Bell. Bell. Well, they were terrible. I'm not not a huge Taco Bell person. Normally, it has been a late night. Come home at 3 a.m. You request your Uber driver to take you through the drive-thru. If they're nice, they will. Um, that's about the extent of my Taco Bell. But I will say, 
about March, April during quarantine, uh, Grubhub, Taco Bell, Grubhub and DoorDash. Definitely, um, I mean, I rediscovered a chicken quesadilla and some soft tacos from... I love a good nacho bel grande from there. But the Mexican pizza was my go-to for the most part. Now it's gone. Oh, well. I just think it's ridiculous. They're, I mean, I guess they're going back to just tacos. I mean, tacos I, and burritos. I did enjoy the ch- uh, shredded chicken quesadilla grillers. Gone. Yes. No more shredded chicken at Taco Bell. That is, I mean, that was my go-to. It's just terrible. Terrible move on their part. They did say they're bringing back green salsa because apparently that's necessary. But who eats anything other than the mild sauce anyway? Uh, me. The mild sauce is the best sauce. I can't eat the, of the hot. I just like the flavor of the mild sauce. I wish it was spicier, but the flavor in the mild sauce is so good. Ah, it's straight for the, the fire, fire sauce. Well, they're bringing back Verde, apparently. Okay. So apparently that's supposed to make up for taking away the Mexican making, yes. pizza. No, there will be. I and mean, everything else. That 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 just is offensive. I don't know. Their reasoning's dumb. You change your packaging. It also said they make a streamlined process. I guess because the Mexican pizza takes a minute to make. I don't know. They're always slow. It doesn't matter. Exactly. And you're usually drunk, like you said. So yeah, really normally you're not matter. in a hurry. Yeah. <laughs> the world is standing still with you. Uh, anyway, that's, that's actually speaking. Speaking of green salsa, that was up on a uh, BuzzFeed list of. Uh, Items from the 90s that you will never see again? That is right. It was. Um, it was called uh, 33 Things from Your Childhood You're Never Going to Eat Again. Well, apparently they were wrong about that because that was number... Um, let's see. That was number 15. Taco Bell's Verde Salsa. Okay, so BuzzFeed strike that. So there's only 32 things from your childhood. Also, another one on the list. Uh, Dunkaroos. Dunkaroos are coming back apparently, according to uh, to Facebook. Yes, it. Uh, I'd heard they were back, but I've heard they're not the same. Yeah, I remember like the kangaroo doing the commercials, and I feel like the previous like cookie portion was like a kangaroo shaped. Now it's a circle, and now it's a circle with a D on it. I'm not 100 yeah. percent sure, you know, how I feel about I that. Know. One of our buddies has. Bought them recently, so we'll have to see what he thinks. Yeah, hopefully the, the four one one. Hopefully the flavor is the same. Yeah, because that those were delicious. But let's just go down this list and see if, see what you think, and if you remember ever having them. Cream savers. Yes, those are pretty good. Um, the little orange dream sickle. The orange dream sickle was the best. The picture they have is the strawberry cream. No, which was yeah, you probably didn't eat that one. No, or you probably should have avoided it. Uh, then they go. Um, to Altoid Sour. Um, my question would be, do they even have Altoids anymore? Valid question. Um, I'm assuming. I feel like they do. I feel like I've seen the... Seen the tins? Yeah. Because that was like the big thing with those is they came in a tin. Um, I don't remember having the sours, to be honest. I might have, but... So I'm not a huge sour candy, uh, candy guy. Well, apparently you're never going to have them again. Yeah. Since 2008. The other th- next thing is 3D Bugles. Doritos. Oh, 3D Doritos? Yes. Oh. You don't remember those? I don't remember those. I remember them. From the black. picture, everybody, they look like a bugle. Yeah. Uh, uh, sealed up. Yes. You can't stick your finger in it like you do with the bugles. Oh, true. Because you have to do that. Um, <laughs> I remember the packaging. I can picture the packaging in my head. A black bag, blue and red 3D wording. I, I just, But they just tasted like Doritos. So, I mean, it was just kind of a gimmick. Then we go to Dunkaroo, so that's back. Reese's Bites, which, I don't know. If it's not a Reese cup, it's not. Or, say, or a tree or uh, yes. any of the holiday Reese's. A Reese cup variation. Yes, is the only thing Reese's that's any good. Yes. I mean, people love the Reese pieces. Disgusting. Oh, give me a Reese cup. All day. Any day. Yeah. Well, apparently Reese's Bites have been Or gone. in the holiday season... Give me about 400 of the miniature ones. Yes. Ooh, because, I mean, if they're tiny, they don't really count. My problem with like these, all these, other, like a lot of the other variations of Reese's is the chocolate to peanut butter ratio isn't accurate. The Reese cups is perfect. Uh, but those apparently went away in 2008. Then you got Oreo O's, which I thought for sure those were still around. I feel like they probably are. Um, but apparently you haven't been able to get them since 2007, except okay. in South Korea. Oh. According to this article. 
then they talk about Vault Soda. Nope. You don't remember Vault? I remember it, but I never... I'm sure I drank it, but it makes me think of Surge. Yes. And then what was the other one? Was Surge the kick in a it can? It definitely has the look. Yeah, so Surge and Vault. I think Vault you could get at Burger King. Okay. Maybe it was Surge. I don't know. I remember you used to be able to get it when you do your, uh, what was the drink? What did you call it when you got all the drinks at once? Um, suicide? Yeah. So you'd go through there and get all those. And I, I'm pretty sure they either had Vault or Surge. Um, but neither one of those have been available for a long time. Um, Cinnamon Tic Tacs. And Spearmint Tic Tacs, it says, in mm. the heading. Uh, I'm good. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't think I, I ever had cinnamon. I'm not a big cinnamon person. I mean, person. I feel like the only flavor of Tic Tacs that I've ever actually bought myself are orange. The orange ones are the best. Yes. Yes. Uh, apparently, those have been gone since 2014. How old is this article, by the way? Um, then they go on to tricks shaped like fruit, mm. which I think there's a big rumor about this. We all wonder, you know how the whole joke back then was that Adults couldn't see the shapes. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if they're still tastes like fruit. We just can't see it. Valid. Says they've been spherical since 2006, but I think that's probably accurate. But I do remember seeing the fruit shapes in my trick cereal, and they're not there anymore. Even though I haven't had tricks in forever. But um, Now, this the next one, major, major change. Yeah, this was a big deal. Lime Skittles. Yeah. So people, I'm assuming people realize this, that the, the green Skittle used to be lime, and then they changed it to green apple, which is not the same. No. I mean, obviously it's I not I associate the, same. the color like green in a fruit-flavored candy With lime. as lime. Like, yeah. It should just be lime. Yeah. Well, and it changed the way, because like I'm, you know, OCD here. Some people eat just one color at a time. Uh, and some people put the whole thing in your mouth. Well... This changed, when you put the whole thing in your mouth, it changed the way that tastes. If you put a bunch of different flavors in there, it threw it off. I could definitely see you eating one flavor at a time. No comment. Guilty. Just. Yeah. And but I do eat a bunch at once, too. Pepsi Blue. I remember when this came out, and it bombed horribly. Um... Doesn't, didn't Coca-Cola release something similar at the, around the same time? I believe that was the, um... Or was that the oh clear? No, that was the clear. So that was back in the 90s when they did the clear. Um, Pepsi Blue was berry-flavored cola. Hmm. No. It says it went away in 2004. I do remember it, but I don't know that I ever I remember drank it. Because Pepsi sucks, so I didn't drink it. Throwback to another episode. <laughs> then they've got Reese's Swoops. Again, I mean... I don't remember those at all. Well, that's what's on the picture. Apparently, they came in Almond Joy and Hershey Bar flavors. I've never seen them. They look like a Pringle, but made of chocolate. Hmm. I'm wondering if they're on a chip, though. I don't know. Never heard of them. Never had them. Now, the next one, the fruit string thing. I, I do I, remember the... Random shapes you could make. Yes, I remember peeling off the shakes and eating them. It was kind of like, um, it was basically like like a little bit of licorice or something. Not licorice, but uh, what was the other one? What are those ones that came in? They were like Twizzlers it where was, you could peel the... Yes. The, like, it was basically off. a way you could play with your food and that be the entire purpose of the, the the packaging. Yes. the kit. They basically gave you this to keep you busy for five seconds. Yes. Instead of just cramming the whole thing in your mouth. Yes. Now, Sprite Remix. Another thing on this list. Apparently it's gone away in a can. But anyone that goes to one of the Coca-Cola freestyle machines, I mean, you can flavor your Sprite any way you want. So it's kind of back. It's kind of back. Just in a modified form. But, so like my, I don't ever remember seeing it in a can, but I used to get Sprite, and I'm pretty sure a Sprite Remix in a bottle. And then you would put sour Skittles in it, in the mm. bottom, and let it like, Fizz. And Fizz up and whatever. Man, that was so good. I remember I used to do that in high school. Um, but apparently it's been gone since 2005. Okay. Then we talked about the Verde sauce already. McDonald's Select Chicken Tenders. I do remember these. 
I remember they were a little bit more expensive than the chicken nuggets, so whenever you were spending your own money, you definitely got the chicken nuggets. Did they taste any better? I don't really remember, which that by itself should be me saying probably not. Like, my only remembrance about these is I feel like they came with, like, the sauce packets got bigger. Yes, and they were changed. Yeah. That's the only thing I remember about it. But it was because they were coming out with these, they needed a bigger dipping yes. vessel. Vanilla Pepsi. Pepsi sucks, so I don't remember this. Moving on. Um, and so, who cares if it's gone, to be <laughs> honest. Now, this next one, yes. I do remember getting these in high school. Fruitopia. Ah, oh, that was so good. The ma- They had like one that was like a mango something or a papaya. Might have been papaya. I don't know. It was delicious. It was kind of orangish colored, peaches colored. Oh, it was so good. Um, but those were... They were lost in 2003, it says. Okay. I feel like the next thing on the list, squeeze it. I feel that they are probably still made. It says 2001. Mm. But what's... I think squeeze it's are gone. I think you can still get like the... What was the other one? Mondo was one. I think there's there's another similar, brand. Similar product. Yeah, just, just not squeeze it brand. Okay. Yeah. Because we bought... Or we have bought some for our kids. But I remember the squeezes because you'd always like chew on the, the top part that you tore off. I don't know oh. why. Um, but those squeezes were so good. Ah, to be a kid again. Ah, then you had Snapple Elements. I don't know if you remember those. I do not. They had Earth, Rain, Sun, and Fire. And they were actually really good. Um, I think Earth and Rain were my favorite. The other two were okay too, but... I don't know if anybody remembers those. Uh, Skittles gum. I do remember Skittles gum. I do not. I feel that it's okay that that is no longer with us. Apparently the tagline was chew the rainbow instead of taste the rainbow. Hmm. Next, Butterfinger BBs. I do remember these. I remember them, but Butterfinger is kind of like, eh. I'll eat it if it's there. Yeah, but I prefer Snickers. Yeah, I'm not going out of my way to get a Butterfinger. True. I will go out of my way to get a Clearly Canadian. Oh, that was next on the list. It is next on the list. But they're and back. It is back. Yes. We have several local businesses in our area that now uh, carry those, so they could be yours. Yeah, they had like, what, four flavors, I think? Um, but those were always good. Oh, yeah. Carbonated flavored water. It's good stuff. Uh, oh no, it says right here, good news is you can still buy a pallet of them for a few thousand dollars. Hmm. Interesting. Slice orange soda? I don't know, but this is still available, right? Is Slice not available? I know Sunkissed. Sunkissed is available. Slice is gone. Huh. I wonder which was better. I don't know. We will never know. Now, because they've been gone since 2009. Although, if we get as much commentary on sliced orange soda as we did on biscuits and gravy versus chicken and waffles, we'll find we out. We will find out quickly. <laughs> yes. So, I don't know. Sunkiss is the best orange pop right now, right? Oh, yeah. What is the other? There's one Fanta. other. Fanta. 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 Is that the only two orange pops? I'm sure there's like a. I'm sure there's another. Off one. brand at like a big K brand or something. Yeah. They still make those. Um,. So then I think we talked about this. Shark bites. I think we might have slightly talked about these fruit snacks. Not this one, but this type of fruit snack when we were talking about the road trip snacks an episode or two ago. These are the ones that were like solid color. So they weren't like translucent. And they just tasted so much better. Yes. But they were super chewy. Got stuck in your teeth. Like, but these were the best. I mean, I would buy them again. Yes. If they were still around, white shark bites. Oh, you can still get shark bites on Amazon, but no white sharks. No. Oh, it's not the same. same. This next one I've never heard of. Orbits. It says it was a soda that had... I mean, it kind of looks like that new thing, Orbeez, floating around in there. I don't know. Yeah, no, never heard I, of I it. don't remember that. If you've heard of it, let us know what it was. Uh-oh, Oreos. Oreos with... Inside-out Oreos. Basically a... Vanilla cookie with a chocolate cream. Oh, they still exist, it says. Well, I don't know. It says they were rebranded as Golden Oreos in the mid-2000s. Shouldn't have been on the list. 
but you can't mess with an Oreo. Oreos are the best. Classic is best. Okay, this next one, I personally take offense to Jello pudding pops. I mean, I used to love some Jello pudding pops. I honestly don't know that I've ever had one. I mean, I remember the commercials being weird, especially now with everything. Yeah, look, I remember, looking back with uh, Bill Cosby, but we'll get to Jello. Yeah, but definitely, <laughs> definitely the the pudding pops were the best. Uh, then we got PB Crisp. I vaguely remember those, but also Chocolate Crisps. No, Mr. Peanuts those. Crispy Cousin. This has been gone since 1995, so I mean that, that's probably why we don't have much memory. Yeah. Keebler Pizzeria's cheese pizza. What are those crackers? They're chips. Pizza chips. It kind of looks like a Dorito. Yeah. Tastes like a pizza. I, for some reason, I can I can vaguely imagine this, but. Who knows what I actually was eating? Yeah, if it had anything to do with this brand. Now, the next one, Ouch gum, Band Aid gum. I remember that. Every, who doesn't remember that? They're all bright flavored, bright color. I thought like there was a flavored. theme for a while with candy, like it was bright flavored gum. Like you had the uh, the Ouch gum was like a Band Aid, and then you had the gum with the zebra zebra stripe. Yes, the best gum, except the flavor only lasts point three seconds. Yes, like the flavor was gone. Uh, but yeah, ouch gum. I remember that in the tin can. Actually, like you had a band aid or something. Um, then the next one, I I really remember bubble jug. So I do not remember this. So bubble licious in a jug that was powdered form. You basically just pour the powder in your mouth and start chewing, and it turns into gum. That would not be appropriate in the uh, COVID times. No, it was pretty awesome. I mean, it's just gum. It didn't last very long. The gum felt like once you start chewing, it felt like it would dissolve quickly again. But Oh, it's been... I remember that. It was fun fun times. And that last one, Wonder Balls. Yeah, and I don't... I don't remember those at all. I don't remember this, but it looks like it's a chocolate ball that had like something inside of it, like a toy or something. They've got a picture of a SpongeBob on one of these, so it hasn't been that no, Spon- long. SpongeBob has been around for a while. It says they haven't been able to get these since 1996. Yeah. That's probably when SpongeBob started. Um, but it looks like it has like, in this picture, it looks like those like sweet tart rabbits from like Easter. Looks like those were in there. I don't know, but like they make those things still. They're just not called Wonder Ball. They've just changed them. Yeah. They're like some kind of egg and they're usually egg shaped, but they'll come with toys in them, but it's like a chocolate egg on the outside. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. That was the list. Yeah. Random list. A lot of weird stuff. Some stuff still available. So BuzzFeed should probably update this. Um, even though it says it was just updated to July 31st, 2020. Okay. Another hot topic besides 90s food and our apparent love of fruit snacks, which uh, is undying. Gender reveal parties and how they are getting out of control. Way out of control. So the most recent out of controlness is, so California is already having wildfire issues. Well, the most recent gender reveal out there has sparked a 10,000 acre wildfire because they tried to blow something up. Yes. And have blue or pink smoke or whatever it was. I don't even know what it ended up being. Um, yeah, I don't, I've, I've actually never been to a gender reveal party um, that, I, that I'm aware of. If, uh, if you're one of my friends and listening to this and I've went to your gender reveal party, apologies, um, but yeah, I don't I don't get the idea of just blowing something up to let everyone know like what your the sex of your child is going to be. Like just go like old school, maybe cheap, color the inside of a cake. Yeah, like what happened to just having like some colored cupcakes? Do some balloons coming out of a box. Yeah, or that. Yeah. I don't understand why we got to It's so totally an American thing. There is thing too. no need to blow something up. To oh. announce the sex of your child, yeah. that is, especially in a drought-stricken state so that, just that has major forest fires every year, anyway. Well, that's like not the worst one, I guess. In 2017, a guy, um, an off-duty border patrol agent, started a 47,000-acre fire, and he has to pay 8.2 million dollars in restitution. Yes, that's absurd. I mean, people are like 
setting fireworks off. They're hitting guests. I mean, it's getting out of control. I'm all out on gender reveal parties. Well, you're done having kids too, so. <laughs> yes, this is true. Well, this, but, as far as you know. Yep. Yeah, we better be. Um, <laughs> But I just don't. I don't understand the the premise behind blowing stuff up and all this, all this information or all this nonsense. It just doesn't make any sense, and it it's getting way out of hand. I mean, when you're when you're sparking a ten thousand acre forest fire, there's a problem. yeah. There's you need to reel it back in a little bit. I mean, you got people like putting targets out and shooting them with a high powered rifle so they explode. And I mean, I definitely get the celebration aspect of it, but I don't get the. And I get blowing stuff up is kind of fun, but like, yes, it's just how to just, just within reason. I mean, yeah. in I a mean, contained, pop a balloon that has in powder a contained in it. environment. Yeah. Or pop a balloon that has yeah powder in it, you know, something. There was a, there was one, a guy, they like did like a football that was full of powder and he was supposed to punt it. Well, he like kicked it and broke his ankle. <laughs> I don't even think it like popped. I think it just like broke his foot and his ankle. <laughs> I mean, so kids, they're expensive from day one, apparently. Yes, I mean before you even have them. I just don't. Yeah, I don't get it. I mean, when we had kids, I think we literally just posted a picture of the ultrasound with the stuff picked circled. Hey, look, it's this. It's a boy. Yeah, or you bought like a blue or pink outfit and gave it to your oh. parents and say, "Hey, look, we're having a boy." I mean. I don't. I don't know. Now, no. Now you need fireworks. You got to blow stuff up. A bunch of pink and blue powder. Which I mean, in today's environment, I mean, how long before you're not even allowed to use pink or blue powder? Bigger is better. Because you're determining the sex of your baby before it's born. I mean, Jesus. I also enjoy the surprise aspect of not knowing what your child is. See, I get the planners. Like I know, like your OCD, and I know there's no way in hell that your wife would not find out. But I, I don't know. I feel like basically like life is not so full of surprises anymore to where like that's a surprise, a controlled surprise. Yes. Well, like I was supposed to be a girl. I mean, they, uh, they thought I was going to be a girl because I guess ultrasounds back in that time, you only got them if there was a problem. They weren't like something mm-hmm. you just did for fun. Whereas now you can go pay. You can get the 4D ones 4D in these for, boutique shops. Yes. Um, but. Like, they only did them back then when there was an issue. So, like, and I don't know how you are that set that you don't even have a guy's name picked out. So, like, I mean, they had my name was Sarah Elizabeth, I think. Sarah something. I think it was Elizabeth. That was going to be my name. And then doctor said, it's a boy. And they were both like, uh. Oh, shit. What are we going to name him? <laughs> so, I mean... The surprise, I think, would be hard just for me because, I mean, if you want to, like, decorate their room or anything and you, and you want to use gender-specific stuff, you can't. You'd have to just go all neutral, which, I mean, that's okay, too. But, yeah, I don't know. I think it'd be nice to know. But Either way, you could not, just know. You don't have to, like... Either way, you're deal. not blowing anything up, too. No, I'm not blowing anything up to do it. I'll just find out on my own. Yeah. I don't even have to tell anybody. <laughs> exactly. can surprise everybody else. <laughs> Um, but on the upside, in a world of chaos right now with forest fires, COVID, and the other chaos of 2020, football is back. It finally has started. It technically came back last week with a couple college games, but it's actually back. Um, well, I guess this episode is like two weeks later, but <laughs> yes, our release schedule is a little delayed. But it is back finally, thankfully. Uh, we're actually not watching it right now, but I am following along on my fantasy team right now, so I'm keeping track. So but, the NBA game is on in the background. Yeah. Um, I did watch the U.S. Open, so at least there is some sporting events going on. Sports are back. Yes. <sighs> it is very odd as someone who went to uh, the U.S. Open, tennis U.S. Open last year in New York, and then you see like the video this year of like, an empty stadium. It is kind of odd. Well, that's been... Surreal. That's been what's crazy about a lot of these first, like the college games, that uh, some of the schools are doing no fans initially and then are going to try to figure it out as they go, whether they can have like 50% or 25% capacity, whatever their state allows. But um, So some of these games have zero fans, which is just 
it's it's weird. I mean, it is weird. And but like, there's crowd noise somehow, so they're pumping in crowd noise, which is kind of silly to me. I enjoy the MLB putting in the uh, the cutouts, cardboard basically. cutouts down where the camera pans. Yes, and yeah. they had like um, the character from Weekend at Bernie's mm-hmm. in the background. Which I love that movie. Yes. Oh, I like like the NBA. I like what they did. They did um, where you could basically like be there virtually. So like mm-hmm. you're actually on the TV. It's like you at your home staring at your computer screen, I guess. But like, I mean, that's kind of cool. You get get some add a new layer to it. Yeah, something different. You get some fan interaction interaction there. But um, yeah, football sports are back. Football's back. Uh, we'll see how long it lasts. Yes. Um, because you know people can't behave. Yes. So, but I'm I'm excited that it's back. We'll see. We'll see. Um, college football is the one that's the most at risk, to, in my opinion, to get shut down because if a college has to shut down or there's an outbreak, um, they might not be able to fill the team. Like we're already seeing that with a lot of delayed games and stuff like that. But um, I'm excited. You know, downside is there's no tailgating. So even if you do get to go to a game, like Marshall here is allowing like 50% capacity. So if you can get a ticket, um, you still can't tailgate. On campus. Right. Luckily, there's a lot of places off campus right by the stadium, so there is tailgating taking place. But hopefully those people are doing it smart. Smart, Mm -hmm. safely. Social distancing with masks while you try to drink a beer. I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works, but... um, uh, Anyway, I think... I'm just glad it's back. At least I can watch it on TV, which I prefer to do anyway. Yes. I mean, tailgating's fun, but like sitting in the sun, baking in the heat, watching, trying to watch a football game... You get better angles on TV anyway. The rain this weekend. Yeah, yeah. you don't have to worry about the rain. But not a bit of fun. um, But it's still good to go every now and again. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, I think that's about it for this episode. Got the uh, text. It's time to wrap it up and move on. Hope everyone has a great week. Hope you all enjoyed the podcast. If you did enjoy it, be sure to subscribe, rate, and review. And if you didn't, just act like it didn't happen and keep it moving. Take her easy.